The DeepTracker Bridge Controller is a powerful handheld computer running a custom Linux-based operating system. It is constructed out of two robust solid plastic shells held together by a dozen screws with a greased o-ring to make it highly durable and water resistant. It hosts a local area network over ethernet connections with a node at the ROV. Both the controller and the ROV run firmware that can be updated easily. See the firmware update video for more details. There are five ports on the bridge controller, not counting the tether connection. These are not wet ports, and the water-resistant seal is compromised when port plugs are not in place. Keep plugs in place as much as possible. There are two USB ports for data connections with certain add-ons, including USB-L and USB data storage. There is a micro HDMI port for live viewing on an external monitor or live streaming. In the center, there is an Ethernet port with various applications including firmware updates, video streaming, and optionally viewing sonar data externally. There is a micro SD card slot for recording photos, videos, sensor logs, sonar logs, and GPS track lines. The final port is the controller charging port. Joystick assemblies do not penetrate the hard shell to maintain water resistance. As a result, they are very easy to replace if damaged. The front joysticks control the thrusters. The front left controls forward and backward motion as well as yaw. The front right joystick controls the pitch of the ROV, pitching the grabber arm and the sonar if installed. The back right joystick rotates the camera arm up and down, rotating your view through 260 degrees. The back left joystick controls the grabber arm, opening, closing, and rotating left and right. The button panel is sealed to the plastic shell but can be replaced if necessary. The power button turns the ROV on and off. The menu button opens the main menu. Submenus are selected with the front left joystick and then opened with the enter key. Pressing the camera home button instantly returns the camera arm back to zero degrees. Pressing and holding will lock the camera to the pitch of the ROV. The heading lock button locks the ROV to a single heading which can be adjusted with the left joystick. The pitch lock button locks the ROV pitch which can be finely adjusted with the front right joystick. The left arrow keys adjust steering gain, or how quickly the ROV turns left and right. The right arrow key adjusts speed gain, scaling all other thruster outputs. There are two custom buttons which can be programmed in the controller settings menu. By default, one is set to activate the laser scaler, and two is set to disable motors. A third and fourth custom function can be programmed and activated by holding the function button and then pressing one or two. There are rubberized buttons on the left and right side of the controller screen. These are set to capture photos and video by default, but they can also be programmed in the custom button menu. See the custom button menu video for more details. The depth hold button activates depth hold mode. The target depth can then be adjusted using the front right joystick. The primary lights and the auxiliary lights can be activated with their corresponding buttons. For more information on ROVs, in-person and online training, visit deeptrekker.com.